Welcome to this Windows channel and this is a quick look and review of the latest version of Google Chrome browser. It has been updated yesterday June 6th and it is now at version 59. So as you see here, 64 bit uh, version that I've got here. So version 59 was released and it has um, a few changes. What most people will see um, in this new uh, version is how the settings have changed. So of course, same, pretty much same UI, same interface that you see here. But one thing has changed is once you go to the settings. So if we go here to settings, here's what you've got. You've got a new look for the settings page. Now, this new look, by the way, is what um, Google calls material design. It's a material design inspired UI, which has until now made its way uh, into Android menus, um, Gmail menus, uh, even Google search and AdSense use this um, uh, material design and it, it, it really is very, very different. And of course, um, it is now in the first, for the first time in Chrome, and as you see here, you can have on the left side the settings menu where you can click and have a little, you know, dropout menu or basically a, a, a menu that pops up, giving you more settings and advanced options. So you can, of course, um, see all of this in a panel on the left side. And of course, you can just go through the settings and there's advanced that you can click. Another add is sliders. You see here these colored sliders now for on or off, depending on what you want to add in possibilities and uh, what you want to um, you know choose, depending on what you actually uh, use in Google Chrome. Uh, apart from that, okay, I have not tested it against other Chrome browsers. I will be testing it because I will be making a, a test of uh, browser speed. So if you want to see browser speed tests coming soon, I will uh, post them on the uh, Windows channel. And so um, right now it seems to work well. Um, I have seen a couple of reports, people saying that they've actually seen the um, little, um, you know, some, some um, w when you're doing some uh, streaming of videos, some people seem to say that they've had a little problems with this. So I don't know if it's a widespread issue, but for now, I have tried streaming different uh, videos and different channels. I've not had any issues myself, but um, it you know, doesn't mean that there's no issues at all. What else is there in here? Of course, lots of goodies for people that actually are developers. Um, one that a lot of people, a lot of developers will actually like is what we call Headless Mode. Headless Mode uh, simply means that now you can actually script or try out scripts and um, have all sorts of automated scripts running just with the, the um, basically the, the internal motor of Google Chrome. You don't have to basically run the full Chrome browser. You can actually just get the engine to run that script and do what you want. Um, this new version, by the way, is available for all versions of that are available. That means the version for um, Android for Windows, for Mac, for Linux as a Chromium uh, browser. Um, also, one of the things that it introduces for Mac users, because in Windows it's been there for a little while, you go to a website and it says, uh, oh, do you want to have notifications from this website to appear? Uh, that was not available in the Mac version. It is available starting with Chrome 59. So, uh, and there's a redesign of also the uh, notifications, the way they work. Apart from that, there are some security fixes in here. So uh, basically, if you are not at 59, I think it's really worth it just for one thing. Lots of security fixes in version 59 of Chrome. So basically, um, one, two, three, four, five, um, um, high, you know, uh, basically there's um, low, medium, and high insecurity uh, flaws 
a high means it's, it's it's very possible that you know somebody could actually take control of your PC or or do something. So they fixed uh, five critical or high um, security flaws, uh, a certain number of medium uh, flaws, and a couple of low flaws. So you know what? Make sure that you update this because I think it is uh, important also for your security to move on to version 59. So if you don't know how to do this, or if you don't know you know, what version you've got just uh, you know click on your Chrome browser going into the uh, menu on the upper right corner the little three dots there uh, go into um, help and you can go into about Chrome here it's gonna tell you what version you've got and of course if you've not on the latest version it will automatically bring you to version 59 so you can update your Chrome browser uh, apart from that you know pretty much the same interface it's really in the settings that things have changed with that material design, basically, uh, and, and the uh, little setting panel here that uh, slides open when you click on the upper left. Um, I, I do like this, you know, I think it's a nice uh, little design. Uh, coming up very, very soon, um, a speed test between browsers that I will be doing. So, of course, if you want to check that out, it's been a while since I've done so. And uh, with the new uh, Chrome 59 browser, I think it's time to uh, try it out. If uh, you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. If you have any comments, questions, suggestions, let us know. Let me know what you think of the new Chrome browser.